sure. Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, I'm not a magician. Oh, I'm just joking. You really don't. Good afternoon. Hello there. I think the other one we wanted to talk about is a restrict row count. Yes. If you want to have a sample, for example, of your data to look at and analyze and look what's available, what fields are available, you don't feel like going through forms and using Magic Rocket, or you don't feel like using XRM toolbox, you just want to look at the data to get the feel out of it. You want to get all of it. So I've got 20, but if you have, uh, let's say 2 million records, uh -huh. you really don't want to hit 2 million records. Probably not. Probably not. So you would want to restrict a row count. Let's say I want to say, hey, look, give me all columns just to get feeling for the data. But row count is five what have you done specify do you know how many of those will be returned well it used to be 512 but i don't think it is anymore is it no it's not it is tell me tell me 5000 which is fetch xml page and size it's a default size in fetch xml mm -hmm. 5000 and if i want more than 5000 if you've got more than 5000 so first of all you can restrict row numbers to and let's say i'll try here 66,001. Will it take mm -hmm. it? It does take it. But, right? but it will not return 66,001. It will return 5,000. If you want to more than that, that's because of the page size. It returns the first page. Right? Mm -hmm. If you want more, you go to settings. And you turn on pagination. Always sounds like pigeonation. Pigeon nation. Anyway. And here, so that's how big each page is, right? I would say one million. No, it will do pagination, right? For you and combine the results. Okay. So and you can restrict total number of records returned between zero and hundred thousand. And I tell you right now, put in hundred thousand, it's just not a good idea. Yeah plainly not a good idea what are you going to do with that let's switch it off so if it's under 5000 you can do row count well you can do row count regardless so i can do 66001 it will never return more than 66001 but then i can do pagination and restrict it uh, even there so it's kind of two a bit conflicting on the large numbers. And one that says total number of records never exceed that. Yeah. But you have to take into account that there is a pagination going on. So by default, it's 5,000. And you can increase and say, hey, look, combine multiple pages to the total value of 70,000. And then you'll get your 6,000 in one. Yeah. But if I remove that, it will give me 70,000. So as simple as that. Yes. Nice. I like it. Let's go simple. Five. Let's go and test. And I remember I removed all the columns. Well, you remove the select columns. Yeah, I removed uh, filtering. But that gives us columns back. It gives us everything, including those columns. So I'm not going to break my flow just because uh, I said, give me everything, right? So it's still applied to each works as still happy days. emails are still flying around. You know, everything is fine. And what was it, 14? You don't have 14 because you only had five. That's right. <laughs> hey, look, it worked. <laughs> look, it did work. So now what I can do, I can click the download. You see this nice formatting of JSON? It's beautiful. This is what comes back. That's scary and unpleasant. A lot. That's even worse. What you can do is install JSON formatter. So you go to extensions and you get extensions and you search for JSON formatter. And here's the one I use. You can use others. They're very, very similar. This one is good as well. Beautify, and this one allows you to edit. Oh, Beautifier. That's so much more on topic. <laughs> and when you go parsed, 
it displays data in a nice way. So you see, it says five items. Lovely. Ooh. And you can expand and each item that's individual contact, you get all the data. Yikes. All the data, entity image. You even get entity image as a binary. Lovely. Looks, looks like a really nice image. Yeah, absolutely. Work of art. I wish I looked. Do you think I look that good in binary? Oh, you look much better. Still green, though, you know, pleasant for an eye. No, oh, no, it's nice. Here's your lookups. This is currency for you. So it says values, this one, logical name, transaction currency, formatted value, Australian dollar, and a five for one. What? It's a five for one deal. One field, five things. Magic. Oh. <laughs> that's right you also can see family status code it's your option sets right option sets yes come as a formatted value so here's the text that will be language sensitive so if you run it in say dutch you will have dutch if you have it translated and so on so it's quite nice that's beautiful and you've got some monstrosities called navigation links but that's relationship for some other time not even for next time no, thank you what we didn't cover is other things like filter so how about mm -hmm. i said hundred thousand is bad idea and here's another reason why it's a bad idea let's go ahead and create a manual flow and list all the rows in contacts table but unlike the sample database we've been using before this one comes from one of the developers instances that has a few hundred thousand records in it so when we go ahead and retrieve a hundred thousand records an absolute maximum and we ask for all the columns to come back one would expect a large result set and it's a bad idea in itself because you can say it's going to be slow it's hard to filter we've been through finding a name column challenge before but on this occasion on the real data volume the result is actually even worse there is a memory limit allocated to each flow run and once you retrieve way too many records with way too many information in them you will eventually hit that limit it's just a hundred megabytes but it's quite easy to do if you retrieve a hundred thousand records so how do we filter how do we sort and what does fetch xml do i have an even more important question what the hell is a partition id i have to go find out it's the first time i'm stumped it's the first time i see that now you have some homework I'm so glad that I managed to stump you for the first time in my life. Something to do with retrieving data for NoSQL tables. Yeah, but no, NoSQL tables are audit and file an image. But why would you want to specify partition IDs beyond me? But that's for the next time. That's for next time. I look forward to it. Il mio cor, il mio cor, don't forget ta 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 ta. I don't get nervous, don't get nervous. Please, let's come back.